We're now going to do an induction proof um, that I would categorize as a, as a sequence induction proof. Um, so at this point, I already expect you to be familiar with how to do an, a series induction. Um, and then we've looked at divisibility. So this is the third style of induction proof that we do for IB Math. Um, okay, so what I notice in here, here are the directions. This came straight from the book. I'm just practicing one of theirs. Um, what I notice is that I've got a recursive formula. So if you, if you think about it, we would have written it before like this. They tell you where to begin, and then they tell you what to do. That the n plus 1 term was the term right before it times 2 plus 1. So you'll notice this is neither arithmetic nor geometric. Um, it kind of uh, mixes the two and, and therefore becomes neither of them. Um, and what they're wanting us to do is they're wanting us to prove that this situation, this, this recursive formula, can be written with this explicit. So here's, here's the recursive. The recursive rule that can be written with this explicit. Okay, notice that this is now u sub n is equal to 2 to the n minus 1. Um, and so we're, and we're doing this for all positive integers. Um, so as I get started, once again, step 1 is always n equals 1. Um, and so my first term right here, they told me my first term was 1. So I'm going to come down here and use the explicit formula and verify that the explicit formula really does give me that first term. So I have u sub 1 from here is equal to 2 to the 1 minus 1. That's 2 minus 1. That equals 1. And therefore, that does match this value up here. Step 2, we're assuming n equals k. And so what we'll say here is that u sub k is equal to 2 to the k minus 1. And that came from this part right here. We're assuming this to be true. Now, step 3, we need to verify that it's true for n equals k plus 1. Um, and so what I have here is I have this, this situation, this, the recursive rule that I need to work with and manipulate it. My, um, sometimes I like to write a goal off to the side. Um, my goal would be to show that u to the k plus 1 is equal to 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so my goal is to make the explicit valid for when, um, when n equals k plus 1. But I have to start with the recursive, manipulate this to get to my, my um, explicit goal. Okay, so coming back here, we said that, um, excuse me, can you see it up here? That u sub, well, k plus 1 would be equal to 2u sub k plus 1. And all I'm doing is taking this recursive part right here and finding, um, plugging in k. Okay, well then, if we look back to this, we know that we have, we have a rule for our um, u sub k, and that was from our assumption. So this would be equal to 2 times, well, 2 to the k minus 1, and we still have plus 1. So I've rewritten u sub k based on what I assumed before. So now as I distribute through, I have 2 times 2 to the k minus 2 plus 1. That becomes... Well, 2 to the 1 times 2 to the k minus 1. This can be written as 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And that, you may notice, was my goal. So what we have done is we've manipulated the recursive until we got down to the explicit formula. So then we can say, therefore, um, when u sub 1 equals 1 and u sub n plus 1 equals 2, u sub n plus Oh, I lied. Minus 1. Nope, I didn't lie. I was looking at the wrong line. When that is true, we can therefore say u sub n is equal to 2 to the n minus 1. Sorry about that. Okay, does that make sense? So knowing our recursive and our explicit formulas from before is very helpful when we try and do these um, sequence proofs by induction. Good luck.